Yo guys, what's up? So, I'm home actually. Got home last night around 1am. Actually, I went to bed around 1am. Got home around midnight. And so I thought today I would talk a little bit about productivity. And I keep using that term. Um, but today's video is going to be more about being able to work on the fly and being able to adapt to new situations. Because you're not always going to have an 18 core iMac Pro with 45, a 45 terabyte RAID array sitting on your desk that's at your office. You need to be able to move and just adapt because filmmakers, YouTubers, all of us, we, we travel a lot and so being able to adapt is something that's really important. So how can you do that? What's one of the best ways? Well, one of the key areas is the technology you use. And one of those, I mean, is obviously your filming equipment. And that's pretty easy. I mean, you can get tripods that collapse up absolutely tiny and can fit in a backpack that will get you a good enough setup. Um, like my tripod I'm using right now, it can stretch up to around like six feet tall probably. And it's four inches taller than a normal backpack. Security doesn't care about it. You can just throw it as, you can just make that a carry on and then a normal backpack, your personal item and you're set for a couple weeks. Um, but so the filming equipment isn't bad. I mean, a mic is tiny these days. Cameras are small. Lenses are small. Storage is small. It, everything is so small. And so that's fine. But what about more like the editing and the technology side aside from the camera? Well, that's where the creativity and just the knowledge needs to come in. Yes, you can walk around with an iMac Pro, which they don't make anymore technically. Um, because that's the power horse station you have, and it's the workhorse power you need. Or you can spend, you can go out, spend some more money, and not have to lug around and check an iMac Pro in a um, Pelican case because that's stupidly expensive. So what are a couple options? Well, when we look at the technology around the world right now, there are so many different options. Um, I mean, like for example, this is not an, iMac, an iPad Pro, but I mean, think about the iPads. You can get an iPad Pro M1, um, which is stupidly powerful. That's the same chip that's in their cheap desktop computers now for like $9.99, $10.99 if you get the 12.9 inch. You can pair that with 5G so you can upload constantly with cellular and pair that with two terabytes of storage. And that's a workstation that would put a lot of people's home stations to um, shame because of how powerful the M1 chip is. Now granted that's not cheap, but you can use that on the road. It's small, it's thin, it's portable, and it just is one of those things you should consider when looking at a setup. I mean, another thing, and I'm actually going to go back to this door behind the camera, but there is, you don't have, I mean, depending on what you're shooting, you don't have to have an insanely powerful setup. Like me, I shoot 4K, but I can edit that on not the most powerful computer, so I'm going to grab... So this is my old laptop, it's a MacBook Air 2015, and while this is not a powerful computer, it's a 1.1 gigahertz, dual core, tiny little thing, it would get the job done, it would get the edit done, and it's thin, I mean it's a notebook, so it's insanely thin, it works, it has a good keyboard, and with something like this, for example, we can do script writing on it, we can do light 1080p, even 4K. Um, and it just is something that is better than lugging around, for example, my personal computer, which is a MacBook Pro 16 inch. And while a 16 inch laptop is not by any means huge and difficult to manage, it, if you're on a weight budget, that's when it comes into play. This is about a four pound computer. This is a two pound computer or maybe it's a pound. I don't know. It's like the weight difference between them is astounding. And if you don't need to do a lot of insane editing, something like that will work just as well as something like this. It may take a little longer to export. It may take a little longer to render, a little longer to edit, maybe a little slower. But if you don't, unless you're on an insane time crunch, crunch where you need just raw power, that's going to get the job done just as well. If you're doing document writing, take that or an iPad. Or honestly, use your phone. While that isn't like the ideal situation, it works. It gets the job done. And it's simple. What's another thing you can do? Well, you could take a microcomputer and assume that there's going to be a monitor somewhere. 
I wouldn't recommend that because you want to be able to have everything you need and just work. So take an iPad, take a computer. But what if you have a little more space and you want to take something a little more powerful? Well, then I would suggest something like my MacBook Pro. I mean, that has insane power and it just works. Now, what's something else about being a productive filmmaker and just being able to go with the flow and set up anywhere and work? Lighting. This lighting, not amazing. What can I do to fix it? Well, it's very bland, it's very boring, and it needs a lot of help. So what can I do? Well, I have two pretty equal, well, let's look at, actually, Okay, so if we look at this setting, I have very equal exposure on both sides. My front's a little dead, and I have the light in the background. So what can we do to work on this? Well, for one, I can actually move a little closer to the camera, allowing for a little bit better depth of field. So I'll do that in a minute. And also, we can kill this, or sorry, let's kill this light. Um, actually, I'll probably kill this light just to darken the room a little bit. And then I will probably open up a cyan image on my laptop here that's recording the audio just to get that side light. So it's super easy. So let's go and do that. So let's go and kill that light. And while it's dark now, I'll fix that in a minute, but you can already see a difference, right? And so now I'm going to open up my lovely cyan image. Okay, so now this is full screen here. And I'm starting to get that color that I do in a lot of my videos. So that looks good. Now what else can I do? Well, if I need a little more light, look for other sources of light around you. And I will say while I'm plugging this in over here, even though you can't see me, not every one of these solutions is going to work every single time. And just acknowledging that is super key because you need to be, I mean, like I've said a hundred times, flexibility is so key. It's things like flexibility and the ability to adapt that really help one creator okay and while this isn't ideal in this situation right now it's better than having nothing and the rest can be color corrected so what else can we fix and like I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail just to create this perfect mobile station but I think this all goes back to my thing of being of able to adapt and just being able to take shut up being able to take your circumstances around you, your setting, everything, and create it into something that actually looks decent. And so this is actually still a little bit bright, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close these blinds a little bit in the background, it's going to darken the room a little more, really help me set the mood, and then I'm going to scooch forward a little bit, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so this is just kind of a quick example of the best, some quick ways to adjust. Look for lighting sources, look for ways you can add color and contrast, separate yourself from the background. These are all just the same filming things, but just apply to any situation you go to. Walk into a new situation, immediately start looking for these things. And just the ability to adapt and be flexible, take different equipment with you. Shut up, please. There we go. Take different equipment with you. It just, it really helps you stand out as someone who's always prepared and always ready to film in different situations, different lighting situations, everything. Yeah, I don't really know what else to add to this video, so with that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful, interesting, or something. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe while you're at it. Um, if you have any other ideas, tips, or tricks that you do, go ahead and drop those in the comments below. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully that will be soon. I'm not exactly sure because I don't know exactly what my schedule is. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.